Now that that's out of the way, let's try and figure out the turn puzzle. Man, I took I had to take a look at the solution. I wasn't even close. Uh, oh, by the way, welcome back to Under Olympus. Please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, anyways, so I had to peek at the solution, and man, I wasn't even close. This section over here, absolutely solid. Moi, chef's kiss, classy. It was a-okay. It was a -okay. Over here, though, you gotta see this. You gotta see the solution in action here. It's, it's nuts, man. So there's... So there's what I lovingly refer to as push button action. There's a lot of switch backing right here. There's a lot of switch, sw switch back. I, I say switch back and there's a lot of back and forth between uh, these directional things. You'll see in a second here. Look at that. Look at that. Now it goes back into the holding pattern. But did you see that? I would have never guessed that in a million years. Let's watch this one. Look at that. Look at that. You see in that? I would have never gotten that. I would have never figured that out in a million years. Like, that is a tough solution. I just had a heart attack because I thought I wasn't recording there for a second. Uh, but I, I also now realize that actually doing the testing of this map is going to take forever. Look at that. Look at that switch. Look at all that switching that happens. And then there. And then it just restarts through here. Like, look at that. That's just crazy. Okay. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, let's try and figure out the turn puzzle. So this is the last one. Now I... Didn't necessarily look at the solution for this one, but I took a peek at how it flows. So you literally come here, pick up the cauldron, go here, go here, drop off liquid, and repeat until done. I... Oh, and, uh, like, I want to give a sh special shout-out to the Tater team. Like, they've been super interactive on this map, and that's been, like, that's been very cool. Uh, there's only... It's, like, them and, uh them and uh, Mick5, who does the Diamond Sword RPG, who I've done all the Minecraft trailers for, my own shameless self-plug. Um, it's, uh, those those have been, like, they've been, like, the two best map creators in terms of, uh, in terms of interaction. Shout out to the Tater team for being, like, super cool map creators. Um, alright, so let's figure this out. So let me, which robot's going where here, real quick? Alright. So I think I did switch something here. So I think, yeah. So I think I have that going that way, which is wrong. This needs to go in here. I'll bounce in. So I need to get on track to hit the, I need to get on track to hit, to get, to grab the cauldron here. The easiest way to do that would be to turn in, bounce, turn, and I'm on this track. I'm thinking here. So let's hypothetically say I decide to go this way. Oh wait, I should probably check one thing here real quick. Oh wait, oh shit, this button's gonna get hit multiple times. Okay, well I guess I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so this yellow button here, this is get, so it gets clicked once. So this is gonna have to be in the opposite direction because the time the robot passes through here, 
this button is going to be clicked and everything's going to be back in its original orientation. I think. Consult the tomes one more time. That's once. Twice. Okay. So what if I... So I like sending the robot up here. What if I send it through here? Down. Circle back. Uh, go this direction. Hit the push button. Now I'm in the opposite orientation. Boom. Push button hit. Hit again, back in original orientation. I picked up the cauldron, and now I'm into this mess. Let's see how that looks. Well, not quite how I wanted it to work, but we're in the right direction. So I need to get... Oh, good lord. So I need to somehow get to here. Pick up the purple stuff. So I've got the cauldron, everything's great. Come through here. So at this point, I think I'm back in the opposite direction. And I wasn't even paying attention to... So it's going clockwise right now. All right. All right, so it continues to go clockwise at this point. So we're back in the original orientation. So what if, so I send you clockwise down here, counterclockwise. Right, hang on. So let's go clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, bounce, opposite orientation. Then opposite orientation again. Opposite orientation, opposite orientation. I wonder how this will look. This grid is like the hardest thing to try and visualize for me. Boom, over, boom, down, boom, down. What's nice about this one is I'm not really waiting for materials to get through because this one doesn't depend on the materials being there to solve the puzzle, so I can test pretty fast. Oh shit, that was pretty close. Try that. Hold on, I want to see this one more time. Where did I go wrong? Oh, wait, no, I go wrong somewhere else. Where do I go wrong? That didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. How about, what 
what if I... I think I'm still opposite at that point. Opposite. Hit the push button, see what that does? Do I have to hit both the push buttons? So one piece of feedback I'd like to give the Tater team is it'd be really nice to have like a heads up display or something with how many times the push buttons have been hit. For like instances like this where, all right, so right now I'm going clockwise. Oh, that's still correct. So it's back in the original orientation. So clockwise, bounce back up, bounce over, bounce up. Does that work? I don't know if that works or not. That's like the only piece of feedback that I have for this map. It is a near perfect puzzle map, other than the, the double robots. I say near perfect, it's, it's a very good puzzle map, but I wish that was, their execution I should say of this map was near perfect. The only thing that I would like to see done different The only thing that I would like to see different is like a display or something off in the corner of how many times buttons have been hit. Just so that I can like better keep track of this. Because especially on this level, like look at all the buttons here. Look how many I'm hitting to try and figure out the solution. So I like that, I like that. I don't like that. I want that to go the other way. back in because so I have to end up here and I think I'm getting close trial and erroring this until I get the right answer is probably going to be the way to go nope nope that was wrong test solution So maybe if I go that way, that way. All right, let's see how that changes the answer. Opposite way, opposite way, opposite way, opposite way, opposite way, opposite way, opposite way. That way, that way. I think that's it. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I need to get to here. I need to pick up this liquid first, and I might have peeked at the solution I was doing that one just to see the general gist, and it did go here to here to the exit. But it's doing the this fancy configuration that is throwing me for a loop right now. close. But why was it close? Why was I thought that was I thought that was it. 
Let's figure out why not. All right. So right now I'm going that way, that way, that way. Boom, 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 up. I think that's why this one right here was preventing it. Maybe this is opposite? Did I even swap that? I don't know. Nice. Not nice. No, I'm still ending up in the same place. Why am I ending up in the same place? Where do I need to come in? So I need to come up from here to hit that. So how can I do that? So if I come down, come over, come over, swap. I want to see something real quick here. What path am I taking right now? I think I do have to... I think I do have to hit this button. And I need to come up that way or something like that. No, I need to hit this one. Hold on, I need to hit, wait a second. Am I visualizing this wrong? What if I... So I'm the correct orientation here. So I go this way, I go this way. Now I want to go that way. No, wait, I'm the opposite orientation now. Opposite orientation would put me going this way. Correct orientation. Wait, I'm doing this wrong here. Hold on. So what orientation am I in when I get here? One, two, three, four. I am my origin I am my original orientation here. So what if I do this? I come in this way, left, right, go this way, go up, get bounced over this way, get bounced over this way back this way, hit the button, wait, what am I doing now? If I come here, come here, come over, so I'm still my original, so I'm my original orientation right now. This way, then this way, over the button. Then 
let's say I go Come this way, come this way. So how could I get here? So let's try this. So if I go this way, this way, this way, over, 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 over. No, that still wouldn't work. Drop? Yes, I have no choice but to go this way. From here, I have no choice but to go this way. So what if I do go this way? You flip the opposite direction over correct orientation. Boom, boom. If we go correct orientation. grid's got me stuck. Why does the grid have me stuck? Because the only way that I can get to here is from coming this way or from coming this direction. The only way that I'm going to go that direction is if I come from over here. If I can somehow... edge hmm wait what if I'm just being an idiot now hear me out now hear me out I know it's shocking to believe but what if I Yep, yep, that would work. What if I just go over here? So let's let's try this again. I'm back to my original orientation. I go down, I go over, I go down. Wait, let's make sure I'm in the... So I go down, over, down, and now I'm opposite. So over, boom, back to original orientation, original orientation. Boom. Wait, oh. Let's just see how this looks real quick. As I suspected. Maybe I just don't hit that button. I'm in my opposite orientation. Opposite orientation, opposite orientation, opposite orientation. Opposite, opposite. Let's see how that looks. I think that might do it. Hopefully. No, that still wouldn't do it. What if I try that? I don't know. At this point, I'm just trying random shit and hoping it's working.
Which way do I come into this thing at? Maybe changing the angle of which I come into this puzzle at will yield better results. Wait, where did which way did I come in? Wait, hold on. My brain just like super fried there for a second. What? So one button click. What if I go this way. I think I'm going the opposite orientation. Come back along here. Original orientation. No, that would just give me gobbledygook. Dude, I'm not even sure I have this part corrected right now. Yeah, I'm not even sure that I got this part correct right now. Like, in all seriousness, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing right now. That didn't fix anything, neither. And now I have no clue what the hell I broke. So at this point... Uh... Alright, so past this point is the original orientation. So that's good, that's good. That's fine. Yes, that's good. Yep, that's fine. I think it's opposite orientation at that point. Yep, that sends me over there. Is orientation sure? That's fine. At least that was pretty easy to fix. Wait, what? What happened? I can't even fix that correctly. I'm going to fix this apart again and then look really hard at this. This is probably going to get stretched into another two episodes. Wait, what? Oh, I think... Uh... puzzle here. So how could I get to here? So what if I hit this, 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 go this way, hit the button,
Maybe it's where I cross, based on where I cross. So I would have to cross here. Go up and over. So what if I do this? I have to cross over this. Cross back, 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 back. Hmm. 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 So I think I'm in the correct orientation, correct orientation, correct orientation, opposite orientation. Opposite. I'm in the opposite orientation. Back to the original orientation. Original orientation. Original, 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 original. I keep coming, I keep wanting to come back here. No. I'll just hit it that way and see what happens. to do wait is this possible so I'm back to the opposite orientation opposite orientation opposite orientation opposite orientation no what if I do this so I go I send everything in the same orientation, go this way, go this way, shoot it back over, go this way, go this way, shoot this one over, hit the button. I'm trying so hard to, wait, what if I, I'm trying so hard to go to this one. What if I go to this one first? So let's hit play here real quick. orientation, correct orientation, shoot over, cut over, opposite, 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 opposite. What if I shoot it up here first? How does that look? Opposite. No, I couldn't do that. No, I gotta shoot up here. All right. <laughs> this has gone on long enough, and my brain is starting to hurt. It's it's Friday. My brain is absolutely fried. We're going to come back to this tomorrow. We're going to solve this tomorrow. But uh, thank you all very much for your support of this series. It is absolutely phenomenal uh, bringing you. This has been a fun series, despite all the push buttons. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you next time.